with TSU AD Mickey Allen and a landmark decision with a, a, a hockey team, bringing a hockey team to HBCU land. Um, you know, the feasibility the study happened in 2021. So from there to now, kind of what happened? Can you take us on the, the kind of a, a journey of how that happened? Yeah, so it's been a lot of strategic planning since the feasibility study with our team here at Tennessee State, uh, the Nashville Predators, College Hockey Inc., and the NHL. And so through that strategic planning process, you know, this is a significant step. Uh, the announcement was made that we will first uh, start off with a club program. Uh, we'll get a director of club hockey that will act as a development officer to work with the NHL, the Preds, uh, and on our behalf here at Tennessee State University to really streamline uh, our, our giving uh, in terms of philanthropy, uh, gifts, private gifts, corporate gifts. And so what we'll do is we'll really use those dollars to fill this initiative. make sure that we have a financial model around our men's program. From, a, from an ice standpoint, uh, we'll, we'll access a lot of ice across the, uh, the city of Nashville and its surrounding counties with the Ford Ice Centers. Uh, you know, we'll also use Bridgestone Arena when permissible. Uh, but there's a lot of, a lot of individuals behind this, uh, this great initiative. We also know that uh, the inclusion and diversity in the game of hockey is definitely needed. Uh, the NHL is taking a concerted effort in this space. The last week, well, during, uh, during the draft week, they launched a coalition with a lot of their former players uh, for diversity, which was very encouraging. And then, you know, uh, the press conference, if you look at the press conference, everybody was involved. Everybody's really excited. You know, from, from the Canadians to all across the country of young men and women that want to be a part of a hockey program at an HBCU. This is uh, this is untreated territory, untreated water, but we know that through collaboration, through uh, our partnership, that this could be a reality, and this is ice breaking. You know, we're planting our flag, center ice, saying, hey, we want to be in this space. We want to take on this challenge. We hope that someday there'll be other HBCU institutions that will follow our lead uh, in this space, and hey, you'll look back 10, 15, 20 years and say, hey, what was uh, what was the moment in time that really changed the game of hockey in terms of diversity? And we want them to say, hey, it happened with that announcement at Tennessee State University uh, that happened during draft week. So I'm proud as an athletic director to be a part of something like this, I'm proud to be a part of an initiative that can inspire a young man or a young woman to want to come, want to get a quality education at a historic HBCU but also play the game they love and continue this, this great legacy that we have as being pioneers, being groundbreaking here, not only on the academic side, but being groundbreaking uh, in terms of what we're doing from an athletic component. So, you know, just, hey, the sky's the limit, and I always say the sky's always big blue. All right, yes, sir. And also, for those that don't know, and people have been asking me, where can they get a jersey? <laughs> yeah, so, we're looking at our merch around this, uh, around our hockey program, from jerseys to hoodies to just complimentary pieces that'll really celebrate uh, the game of hockey and put our big blue stamp, our TSU Athletics put a uh, stamp on, on our gear and merch. And so that'll be coming on TSUtigers.com. Stay on the look for that. We are a big time Under Armour program. And so we're working with Under Armour to find out what those uh, apparel pieces look like. They really celebrate our culture, but also recognize that, hey, Tennessee State University is in the hockey arena. All right, thank you.